Tonight, CBS 46 investigates domestic calls and the police who respond. And tonight, it's one man against the Atlanta Police Department, and that's because after he called them, they arrested him. Here's CBS 46's Sally Sears. Please talk to me. On a dark night in late April 2017, an Atlanta police body camera shows a tearful Tim Carter. Can you please talk to me? That is it. All right. So I mean, make a long story short. Make a long story short. I'm the victim. You see the scars on my body. Yeah, I don't mean anything. Police officer Christopher Thornton saw anything. Mr. Carter's wounds, and then he found the person on the other side of the fight. Because the facts are the two statements just sir, these all coincide, sir, all right? Ma'am, I'm not guilty, and I didn't do anything. It's, sir, it's not guilt. It's just probable cause. When so. Tim Carter got out of jail, he took his complaints against Officer Thornton to the Citizen Review Board. Today. A calmer Tim Carter is still furious. I was viciously attacked um, and I called 911 for help and I was transported to the hospital and while I was at the hospital um, I was arrested. The review board did not say Mr. Carter was wrongly arrested. I asked the commander of the police professional standards office why not. The officer felt like the other party's statement was more credible than uh, Mr. Carter's statement. The officers don't have a judge riding shotgun with them, and they have to make the decision as to who is the primary aggressor. The review board did fault Officer Thornton for not taking pictures of Mr. Carter's injuries or properly using his body camera. No decision on penalties for the officer yet, but the verdict on body cameras is in. That body camera is gonna modify the behavior of the citizens as well as the officer. The result? Seems to be fewer complaints for both police and the Citizen Review Board. Sally Sears, CBS 46 News.